What is going on guys, it's Council Gamer here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So I quickly put this video together for you guys, and patch 229 has literally just been released, and they've added in this awesome thing, the Procoptodon, or Kangaroo for sure, I'm just going to call it the Kangaroo because it's a prehistoric name, it's just, it's just annoying to say, and Kangaroo's a lot better. So this thing is actually really, really cool, I'm so glad I've force tamed myself up one here, and I've, I've, I've had a lot of fun on it since this came out. This is by far the best jumper in the whole of Ark as you saw just then and whoa I'm really confused. Why are there penguins here? That's new. Well not new. I think that's just because of the... yeah there's penguins all the way down there on the beach. Oh strange. Must be because of the Winter Wonderland update. I actually never even noticed that, that there was penguins just wandering around everywhere. Well, there you go, guys. You learn something new every day. Uh, yeah, so this thing's got really, really good um, jump range, as you just <laughs> just saw there. It's got a decent speed as well, and its stats are actually quite good. So I forced Tame into myself up a level 51, but by default, it goes up to level 75, as, as if it would if it was a Kibble Tame or something like that. So its stats are 500 weight. Let's just say 500. Just 496, but... Just round it off to 500. It's got 1,100, no, <laughs> 1,440 health, 700 stamina, and its melee damage is 212%, which isn't too bad. It's oxygen, it movement, speed, and food. Obviously, nobody else cares about that because it has no use in terms of combat and using it to what it's supposed to be used for. I have actually tried battling with this and its attack range is really really small if I could just try and get over this Bronto here see a bit of a challenge jump ah nope doesn't look like I can make it over that uh, I did did manage to jump over my house though I'll quickly show you that oh this is yeah so it jumps about three walls high I believe it is oh I've just hit that stupid crate why the hell did I put that crate there I'm like a bloody 80 degree angle, 90 almost. And uh, land. Yeah, so as you can see, it does go quite a fair bit in height and fair bit in range. So this is really good. I'm so glad they added it into the game. Uh, its attack radius right now is quite small. It has a pretty pathetic attack. It just opens its mouth very little. And kind of just jolts forward a little bit. I... Eh, so it's, oh, it's got a pretty low attack. It looks like, what's it harvest? Looks like it harvests that very well. Well, the best. Yeah, it's not really used to farming things though. However, you can, because this is the first ever uh, two-man dino mount in the whole of Ark, that's not counting the Brontos and Parises and the other things with the build on saddles. This is completely different to all those as you can actually have somebody ride in the pouch of this with a gun of their choice a rocket launcher grenades anything and wait okay so you can't you can't kill the uh, uh cop gone uh whilst you're in there or kangaroo rather but i can't really press k either no i can't i can't press k to go in third person view but you can have your friend uh in the pouch which is really good so one of you could be round it, riding it around like I am now as the other one could be shooting his machine gun or stabbing people with a pike unfortunately I don't have any test dummies with me so I can't really demonstrate how this would work uh, taking a look at the saddle and there has been some smithy changes may as well point that out they've had an extra 15 slots into the smithy so there's the extra 15 it goes up to 75 now rather than whatever the previous was um, saddles, it has, uh, here, right, so this thing's actually quite high level to get, uh, I'm not actually sure what, how high a level it is, but, because I'm max level, I don't actually get to see what it is, but you can kind of guess by looking at what range it's in, so as you can see, it's next to the pump action shotgun, fabricated pistol, all the electrical stuff, the fridge and stuff. I don't know what level that would be, I think that's about a level 50, 55 maybe, maybe even a 60, I'm not too sure, but there's the saddle right there next to all the cables. 
And it does require a decent amount of resources as well. There's 500 hide, which is that's fairly easy to get if you have a decent mount. I know the well, if you have an op T Rex and you just go around farming meat on it all the time, then you should have loads of hide. Uh, pelt is going to be kind of difficult. It does depend whether or not you have a snowy mount, like a wolf or something to go and farm it. If you're just doing it by hand in some fair armor, then it's going to be well, it's not going to be too difficult. It's just going to take you a little bit of time. That's all. Fiber is like <laughs> really really easy. Just get a sickle, just cut down about ten plants. You got two hundred fiber straight away, and seventy metal ingots, which really isn't too hard to get. So that's the saddle. It's fairly cheap to get yourself one of these. However, these things are going to be quite useless to you unless you've got the saddle. Although saying that, if you have one of these on follow, you can have one of your friends in the pouch. So your friend will act as like the turret, if I could put it that way. Or the defense mechanism for the kangaroo as it's like roaming around. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's weight though. It's weight is really good for its size. What? what what's, what's going on? I can hear turrets getting. Someone's getting shot. I'm gonna quickly just play as only this before that Bronto gets any closer and gets shot by those turrets and starts wreaking havoc on all my little wooden crates there. But the weight for this thing's size is really really good. It's 500 or 496. I tamed one at level three, which was only. 400 a level 3 so that does show how its weight doesn't really upgrade at all so I went from a level 3 to a level 75 and it only went up by 96 points which you know it's not too bad this thing is going to be mainly used for transport it's got a decent weight for what it is so that really isn't too bad at all its stats are decent it has very small melee attack range I love it's like it's kind well <laughs> The way it's been animated and made is a bit weird. And he's looking over there or something. What are you looking at, buddy? What are you? Female. Okay, so she's looking over there. <laughs> Very weird face. Uh, I, I did kill a few of these and they only uh, yield meat and hide. So there's no special type of resource you get from these. You don't get pelt or anything. It's basically just the standard stuff that you get from a normal dino you'd find in the wilderness. Anyway guys, that's been pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to jump on quickly and show this off to you guys. It is pretty cool and I'm definitely going to enjoy these things. They are so awesome. It's a great addition to the game. And it's so good to see that they finally added a two-manned dino into the game. This is brilliant. I'm going to love using this thing so much. Just reading people whilst shooting a rocket launcher as you're flying through the air on one of these things. is going to be brilliant. I can't wait. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, shape or form, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really does show your support and I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more content like this, then feel free to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be up to date with all my latest videos and you'll get notified every time I upload. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.